Land of Nice and Ice comes a musical that takes Minnesota's love for hockey to a whole new level. The Abominables is the state's first hockey musical. It's running now with the Children's Theater Company. And this afternoon we have actress Autumn Ness joining us. Thanks so much for coming in. Oh, thanks you guys. You got Abominables right. It's I, hard to say. It doesn't want to roll it off. It doesn't flow. You had to practice it a couple of times. I practiced it for six weeks <laughs> while we rehearsed, so now I've got it. This sounds like such a fantastic show. So uber Minnesotans. We've got a large hockey rink for the stage. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the, the plot. Well, this show came to be through uh, an interview process, uh, a six year long interview process with hockey families, with players, with coaches. Uh, the, uh, the writer and director went to tournaments, went to arenas. So that not only informs the script, it informs the costume design, the beautiful mm. set design you mentioned, our gorgeous hockey rink that you see as you come in. So it's a show that's really created in a new way. And I think parents uh, who want Watch and maybe even kids who watch uh, can relate to it because a new kid comes to town and then people are worried about making the B team. Yes, our, our big drama is that uh, my son Mitch, I play the hockey mom, uh, <laughs> he gets bumped from his Where A is the team hockey mom spot. From? Hockey, hockey mom from Prairie Lakes, don't oh, you know? Okay. Oh, we invented okay. the town. <laughs> and he gets bumped from his A Bantam spot to B Bantam, total disarray for his life, and he gets bumped life is over. by a Yeti, by an abominable oh. snowman. Oh and dear. then drama ensues, as along with dancing and music and singing, because it's a musical. So did you talk to any of your hockey mom friends during the course Oh, I come, from, I come from a hockey family, mm -hmm. so this was, was my life. My brother played, my sister was a figure skater, my mom is a hockey coach. Mm -hmm. So I was the odd man out being the, the little actress. You're even wearing the Hill Murray coat. But, I oh, like yeah, I know. It. Yeah, go Hillary, go Pioneers. I got me Hillary colors on. So this was was my life growing yeah. up, experiencing these this, arenas and this I hockey I think life. a lot of people could probably relate to this mm -hmm. life. Now, I know that you poke fun at Minnesota in a cheeky kind of way, but there's also an underlying message with this program as well. And people in Minnesota, we do, we do love to have a sense of humor yeah, about ourselves. We know to. it's cold, and we know we have an accent, and we like it, and we own it. Yep. And that's what's cool. And then the, the show can also take a look at among so many other things, youth sports mm -hmm. and how expansive they've gotten and what does it mean that you have to give your life over as a parent than the stress and the expense and the, have we, you know, have we forgotten what's great about youth sports and, and can we sort of get back to why oh. they're so attractive and why they're so necessary and positive. So I love we, that. Can, can we bring our mini mites to this or mites or what are we talking? So sports yes. maybe nine and up? Excellent hockey terminology. <laughs> so we're re we recommend, we always have an age recommendation and we're recommending mm -hmm. nine and up and we, but we always say you don't need a kid to go come on down and just enjoy adults would get a kick out of Ab it too. absolutely wonderful well you still have time to go and see the abominables minnesota's first hockey musical it's playing at the children's theater company until october 15th we do have a link to show times and ticket information at wcco.com links autumn we're so happy to have you on this first day of fall right kylie absolutely <laughs> doesn't feel like it though does it ladies no.